Well, tonight, the lone young survivor of a deadly crash is making progress. We first told you about 12-year-old Jasmine Cervantes in June. Her parents and grandparents were all killed in a crash in Mexico. Jasmine was flown to Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital in St. Pete to receive treatment. And tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Megan Myers is giving us a look at her long road to recovery. I'm Megan. Button, so button. Like Hi. Button. Today's to-do list for Jasmine Cervantes includes speech Empty therapy, cup. Empty cup. Very good. a visit right. to the GI doctor, and physical therapy. She started doing speech therapy with Paige Cothran Hampton at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital in St. Pete about two months ago. Good job, friend. Nice. Jasmine is recovering from a brain injury she suffered in the crash. Paige says following this kind of trauma, it can be hard to find the right words while trying to speak. It's wearing a Oftentimes, it feels like the name of something is on the tip of your tongue. Yeah, hat's something you can wear on your head, right? We're trying to sort of use that idea of, you know, objects, everyday objects. She knows them, but it's like retrieving that. Very good. So every session, they go over simple things. You want to count? One. Two. Whether it's a doctor's appointment or a therapy session, Jasmine's older brother Cruz is usually by her side. Cruz says they still have a long road ahead. She's not done, you know, getting better. Um, we just didn't know if it was going to take longer than what it has. But with his little sister's strength, <laughs> he knows she will keep tackling her goals. <laughs> yeah, she's really photogenic. She likes taking pictures. And he'll be there to support her every step of the way. I'm very proud. In St. Pete, Megan Myers, 10 Tampa Bay. Boy, she is remarkably strong there. Jasmine's brother says he has not been able to return to work since the crash. He says his biggest priority right now is his little sister getting better.